All right, so we've talked about external microphones in the past. So the mics we talked about before were really good for those of us that were on a budget, looking at getting into doing podcasts or a scenario like this where we need a stationary microphone and it was gonna be plugged into a computer so that we could stream USB audio from our mic into our machine and capture it. But for some of us, we may want to get a microphone or microphone kit that allows us to have a bit more possibility and expansion in the future. So that's what we have here. This is by Uhuru, and for those that have watched the channel, I've reviewed a lot of products from Uhuru before, but this one I'm really interested in, and it's the Uhuru XLR Condenser Microphone Professional Studio Cardioid Microphone Kit with Boom Arm, Shock Mount, Pop Filter, Windscreen, and XLR Cable. So this is a different option, but I'll explain why this may also be a better option. Coming up. All right, my friends, so this is the Uhuru Condenser Studio Microphone set right here. And this is their XM900 microphone set. As you can see right here, a nice box. Flip it over. We will have the information, pop filter, vertical reach, 750 mils, XLR audio cable, shock mount, desk mount, uh, specifications of the microphone, as well as frequency response and polar pattern, as well as you will see information in regards to the packaging and things like that. In the beginning, I said, why may this be a better option? And I'm gonna give you a reason right now. And for some of you, this won't even be important, but for others it will. When we start our podcasting and or YouTube channel and we want good audio, a lot of us will end up getting some form of mic, shotgun mic, lavalier mic, something like that. And that usually plugs directly into our camera. Sometimes then we upgrade to get a microphone that can sit closer to us. So we end up going possibly with a USB microphone because we simply just plug the USB microphone into our computer. The computer powers it. It sends a nice digital signal to the computer. It's recorded and ready to go. And that's great when we only need one microphone. But for someone like myself, we may want to have the ability to run multiple microphones. So having an XLR microphone can be a benefit. The mic that I'm using up here right now is an XLR microphone. Now it does have to go through a device that gives it what's called phantom power because these microphones require a power source. So this is gonna amplify the signal when it sends it out to my camera or my computer. The bonus of an XLR microphone is for down the road when we want to grow. And for those of you that have no intention right now of needing more than one microphone, then a USB microphone could be a really, really great start. But if you have any thoughts of possibly bringing a second mic in, do you hear the kid outside just screaming away? No, maybe, maybe. That's what happens when you do this in your house. Oh yes. Anyways, for me, for instance, there's the odd time that I do videos up here where I bring my wife Mary in and her and I sit side by side. This microphone either has to sit between us or it has to focus on one of us, which means the other one doesn't get as good an audio. So it would be nice to have two microphones, one that I could set up for her and one that I could set up for me. Then I could use a small little mixer board, actually plug the mics into the mixer board and have that either be connected to my computer via USB, depending on the mixture you get, or straight in with your standard headphone jack style adapter. More growth with the XLR, for sure. Difference in sound quality, probably not much, but it does require, even with a single, that you have some kind of adapter that allows you and I to supply phantom power. Now I use the Comica AD2 right now, and it's great for one XLR. Now I wasn't thinking, and they do make an AD3, which allows two XLRs. That's probably the one I should have bought. Maybe in a future video, I'll look at one of those, or I may look at an actual mixing board, just a small one. But today, you and I are going to look at this. So we're gonna crack open this Uhuru Condenser Studio mic, take a look, and then we'll take a listen. Okay, so open it up, my guess is, should be fairly simple, just like most kits. 
There's going to be your kit. So this is a need more help. This is going to give you your support information, which is cool. This is going to be your user manual. My guess is the big thing here that it's going to talk about is probably the fact that it does require, like I said, phantom power. So if you just plug this into your computer or just plug this into your camera or however you get it there, if you're not supplying phantom power, then it's not going to work. There is a needed piece. Top layer, you're going to have your pop filter. You're going to have your little bit of your foam windscreen. And if we lift up this. We have the actual kit. So now you have your shock mount. You have your arm, your table clamp, your XLR cable, and your actual microphone. So there's the Uhuru microphone right there. Pretty standard size. This is kind of the microphone that you and I primarily get size-wise in these kits. So my guess is it's gonna sound very similar to the USB mics that you and I also try. So what we're gonna do now, this is the kit, this is it, right? There's your. There's your XLR cable. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually take this, we're going to plug it in, put it on its arm, and we're gonna switch the audio from this microphone that I have up here, and we're gonna switch it to this microphone. Two secs, guys. Okay, my friends, so now you'll see I have this microphone, and I have to mentally tell myself not to kind of point myself up here because this microphone isn't recording right now. It's this one. So really, really important for you and I to make sure that this is actually fairly close. Because of its pattern and where it picks up, it's not great at distance. It is picking up in and around this area. So you need to be fairly close, and that's why you'll see a lot of us in front of it like this. Now, the other thing to really be aware is that there is a front and a back to these microphones. So the branding where you see the Uhuru written on the mic, that's the front. So you wanna make sure that is pointing towards you. So as you can see, this is directly here. It's right in front of me. I have the Uhuru facing this. If it was backwards, then it would be rejecting as much sound as possible, and it would try to be picking up what's back here and rejecting what's up here. So you wanna make sure that is facing you. Also realize that it is not a microphone that is picking up from this way. It is picking up from this way. So you wanna talk into it, not into the top of it. Also really important. Now as a little close up, this is the device that I'm using right here, which allows me to get phantom power. So the XLR cable plugs into it. This is running out into my camera right now. And on the side here, it may be hard for you guys to see, but there basically is a little switch that says if I want phantom power or not. And when this little light here lights up, we know we have phantom power, which is good because you don't want to supply phantom power to a mic that doesn't need it. And if you have a mic that does need it, example this one, and you don't give it, then you get no sound at all. So it doesn't have enough power to be able to send an audio signal. So that is an extra piece, and that piece there costs about $65. Now, depending on where you want to go and what your needs are, as I stated, they do have an AD3 that will do dual XLR, and you're basically paying twice the amount. Or you can get little tiny mixer boards that allows for XLR. One of the big things you're looking for is that you wanna make sure that that mixer has phantom power because if it doesn't supply phantom power then again you're not going to get any sound but you guys get an idea of what this mic sounds like one of the things i may do is play around with the audio levels because as you'll see from this this has the ability to adjust the mic input level but i'm not listening to it because it's set for this mic and i don't want to play with it because i don't want to have to readjust but I should be able to play with it enough in post. It's kind of sit in that mid-level, so we should be okay. So what does it sound like? You guys are hearing it before I do. I have no idea. So be aware. If this sounds good and you're like, oh yeah, that sounds, I like that, that sounds all right. Way better than if you didn't have this. Then you have to think about whether you want XLR or if you want USB. There's a lot of bonuses with both. USB allows us to direct connect into a computer. Boom, should be super easy. Don't need extra components. You just plug it in and you can capture audio. Really great, but you're only going into a computer. With an XLR, you have a little bit more flexibility. Can I plug it into a computer? Yes, 
Do I need an extra piece? Yes, because you need to have something that supplies phantom power. Can I plug this into a camera? Yes. Can I plug the USB one into a camera? No. Can I plug this into an external audio recorder? Yes. USB? No. Could I have multiple XLR microphones going into a mixer board or some other kind of device so that I could have multiple mics hooked up at the same time? XLR? Yeah. USB? No. Not unless you had multiple computers, because most computers, as far as I know, unless you have maybe some specific special software, only allow one audio input device at a time. So you would choose one and then you'd be done. Some real benefits of XLR, if you're expanding or think you may expand into needing multiple microphones or just want to be able to plug this into a camera or a computer or an audio recorder, or a mixer board. A lot of things that you just can't do with a USB. The bonus of the USB mic is just convenience. It's just really easy. Plug it in, start recording. All right guys, I'm gonna leave you there. This whole kit right now, $80. That's not bad at all. 80 bucks for a whole kit, that's pretty good. But like I said, if you don't have something that supplies phantom power, it is something that you and I will need. Think about what you want and where you're going with audio. If you know that you're gonna end up wanting two microphones, get a device that allows for two XLRs. If you're like, no, one's good, save your money, get something like the Comica 82, and you're good to go. I'll put links down to this device as well as this whole kit down below in the description so you guys, if you're interested, can, can take a look. If you purchase through our links, as always, it is beneficial to us. It helps the channel so that we can get more stuff to try out for you guys. And I'm gonna leave you there. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as per the usual, my friends, we will see you guys in the next video. Later.